Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, aka Carnivorous Chef. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a very meaty charcuterie board. I was gonna do something like this for this big game happening. Well, it happened yesterday, if you're watching this in the future, but I was gonna make it for that, but it was gonna be a little bit different. Since I wasn't gonna get that up in time for that specific game, I'm gonna do this for Valentine's Day, which is in two days from now. If you're watching this the day before Valentine's Day, I think this is a great option for you and your partner to just, you know, have something easy to make without worrying about anything. In fact, almost all of these things are just just pre-made thing. The hard part's gonna be trying to figure out if you want salami or pepperoni or both. That's really what's gonna be it. Before we get started, I'm asking you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to people you think might like it. Doing all these things helps get my face in front of more viewers, and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. To start, I suggest getting yourself a decent looking cutting board to build your charcuterie board on. For now, let's slap some bacon onto it. Cook your bacon in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 18 minutes or until crispy. Feel free to use the power of the snap if you have that ability. Once it's cooked, chop all of it pretty finely and separate into two even piles. Throw one of those piles into a bowl along with one block of cream cheese. Season this up with a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a half teaspoon of granulated garlic, a quarter teaspoon of granulated onion, a half teaspoon of dried parsley, which is optional, and finally a quarter cup or one ounce of sharp cheddar. Mix this up by hand if the cream cheese is still cold, but if you let it hit room temperature, you can mix it up via rubber spatula. Just mash this together for a couple minutes, and once it's all combined, roll it into a ball. Once ballage has been achieved, spread out your chopped bacon and roll the ball around in it. You should have just enough to coat the whole thing, and it's just beautiful. The last step is to take some cling film and wrap the ball up. Then twist the plastic until it's tight and place it into the fridge for about an hour to stiffen up. Okay, charcuterie board 101 here. I want a focal point and the bacon cheese ball is mine. You can place it anywhere, but all eyes will lead to the first thing you place down. I put mine dead center, but going at any offset would look nice too. I like to highlight my focal point with other things. For this, I went with sliced bratwurst, but something like brisket or steak slices would be nice here too. I think every charcuterie I make has goat's cheese. Place this down anywhere along with a few pork rinds. These deli trios are delightful and also something I put on every charcuterie. There are plenty of things you can do with these meats, from the infinite spin to the rose or just laying it out flat are just a couple of the things I like to do. The rose looks particularly nice, but it's not the most practical because of the toothpick. I also enjoy a nice soft cheese like brie or camembert. A full wheel of brie always seems to be a bit much, so I'm gonna just go with half. Fancy ham will always make me happy to see on any meat and cheese tray. I just put this down in bunches and scatter randomly. It's one of those things you usually don't realize you picked up until you bite into it and you have the salty reminder that it's prosciutto. I wonder if I should make a joke about cutting the cheese. Nah. Finally, I'm gonna add some smoked cheddar. I enjoy smoked cheese like this or smoked gouda paired with my spicy meats. Finish up by placing pork rinds anywhere you see fit. This turned out so nice and extravagant. I will be taking this to a party, but I do need to know how delicious this bacon and cheese ball turned out. And oh boy, did it deliciify. Creamy, smoky, salty, and flavorful. You can add any more adjectives you'd like to in the comments. See y'all next time. 